Greetings, everyone, and bonjour. We are back on the Campaign of France, and I know it seems like it's been a really long time since we've been here, and you're right, it has. But we are back, and we are going to get back to vlogging and seeing how the farm is doing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check on the sheep, as always. We have to check on our animals. So let's see what we have. So we have 47 sheep, which is which is good. They uh they're always producing. I swear to God. Um, <clears throat> since we've gotten rid of half of our herd, um, they're not going through food too much. And the water pump, I notice, um, isn't filling up as much as it did either. So that's interesting. The water pump it must it must fill up more according to how many sheep you have. So um, that's uh that's really cool. I think. We are going to just tidy up for a, uh, a little bit here. Hmm. If I can just pick this up. I think I put this a little too close to the lamp there. There we go. Put that down there. And let's check our wool while we're at it. <clears throat> okay, I should get this one out of here. I should move that. So pretty much what we have in store today is, like I said in the last video, I want to cut down some of those trees, and I'm pretty sure our grass isn't ready yet. No, it's not. Let's just get over here. It's germinated. 66% fertilized. I need to figure out when I can put more fertilizer on that. Also, uh, we got more wool. We had a, a full shed of wool, so now <laughs> we have quite a bit of wool, guys. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 12. 12, 13 full pallets of wool, if you count the one that we're going to go grab right now. And as you can see, it is now late spring here in France. It's still 52 degrees in the morning, so it's it's cool, but it's not bad. It's it's refreshing to say the least. Huh? Not that close together. There we go. Line this up correctly. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to put this here for now. <clears throat> because I have to get the truck out of here to put that in there properly. I don't really feel like doing that just yet. So what we are going to do is we're going to go over here to our grass field. Oh, and you know what? That reminds me. We did get some new equipment, guys. We did. Um, so we got this bail wagon here. That's the first thing we got. And uh, I've been waiting to get one of those. I have always really wanted one of these. These things are so awesome. So we got that. And also, we got a new baler. And this is going to be really cool. This baler, what this does is that it still produces the small hay bales. But it's going to shoot the hay bales directly into that hay wagon. So that's going to save us a lot of time. But for today's job... I want to cut down all these trees along here. Um, I think this one can stay. So, let's get to work, shall we?
Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a, a chipper and I'm gonna chip these up and make wood chips out of them. Um, I'm not gonna try to load these up. Just because uh, what kind of trees they are. So yeah, we're gonna continue to cut these trees down. And I'm gonna go grab a wood chipper. I'm gonna lease one from the store. And uh, I think I'm gonna do that now. And then we'll come back and we'll finish this up. Okay, so there's been a little change of plans. Um, what I did was I called John up at the store to find out if he had any wood chippers in. And he kind of asked me what, uh, what kind of job I was doing. I told him I just wanted to remove a couple trees, nothing big. I wasn't doing any major forestry or anything like that. And he informed me, um, wait a minute, okay. And he actually informed me that he has a small vehicle up there that can, uh, I guess, make quick, easy work out of cutting these trees down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up there and I'm going to see what this thing is and we're probably going to lease this. Because I really don't want to spend all day cutting trees down anyway especially when I'm not going to get a lot of money for them so maybe this will be a better way and I just hope that this trailer is going to be big enough for this vehicle oh okay there it is um ooh, I think that is definitely going to be too big. Yeah, that's definitely too big. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's not a problem though. That's not a problem. Um, oh. Let's just park that there, and we'll go in and we'll speak with John and see if we can leave the truck here. All right, so we talked to John, and sure enough, we uh we can leave the truck right there. It's not a big deal. Because we're leasing this anyway. We'll just bring this back when we're done with it. And uh, this is a pretty impressive-looking vehicle, I gotta say. So let's hop in, take a look inside here. Uh. the beacons on. I don't know how fast this thing's going to go. I don't imagine... Yeah, okay, 20 miles an hour. So, actually, not too bad. So, we're going to bring this back to the farm. And it was about nine grand just to lease this thing, so... We don't want to keep this too long, so we're going to get it back to the farm, and we're going to get those trees taken care of. And he said that this will just cut down... And grind up the whole tree. So, I'm uh, I'm kind of excited to see how that works. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you back when we get to the farm. That's my phone going off. I think I probably got a text message. I'll, uh, I'll check that in a second when I get this back here. Just kind of stop it and pull up my phone here. Okay, it was John. So, he's going to drive my truck back to the farm, and he'll pick this up and bring it back to the shop. Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Let me just text him back and tell him that that'll be fine. And there we go. Excellent. Very good guy, John. Very, very good guy indeed. I like doing business with him, and I also consider him a friend, so. Now, I have no idea <laughs> how to use this thing. There's a lot of buttons in here. 
but uh let's see here we're gonna we're gonna try it so okay so let's uh let's try this shall we I guess we just Hey, look at that, and it's gone. Okay. Okay, I love this thing. Good man, John. Boy, he just saved me so much time. Ha <laughs> ha, love it. Let's just get that stump out of there. Wow, this thing is amazing. What a fantastic little machine this is. If this thing wasn't so much money, I would actually buy one of these straight out, but... Now, I wonder if I can just grind these up. Oh, I can! Perfect! Because, you know, I wasn't going to get a lot of money for these anyway. So this is just a perfect solution. Okay, it won't, it won't grind that one. Oh wait. Don't have access to this land. That's, uh, hmm. Okay. Let's see if I can't get this stump out. Actually, you know what? I'm not too worried about that one anyway. We'll get that one out, though. And you know what? I think while I'm at it, I might as well just... I'm going to just take that tree, too, down. Why not? Or not. <laughs> Is this tree? Oh, there we go. Now we'll just take that stump out. Or not. Hmm. Okay, again, I'm not I'm not too worried about that stump anyway. Um, I don't think I can get this one because I think this is kind of just on the edge of my property. Or it may just be the fence that stopped me. So we'll try this one more time. Let's just lower this right down. There we go. Ah, we got it. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, I like this. I like this a lot, guys. That was perfect. Now all those trees rather, you know, I'm almost tempted to see if there's any other trees I want to chop down. Uh, those are okay. But It's 
Hmm. I think I have some trees over in this grass field that I can cut down too. And like I say, I, I'm paying for this thing, so as long as I have it, I might as well use it. So yeah, I think these trees here um, I'm going to take out as well. Stump's actually okay. It's not sticking up or anything, so. This is truly an amazing machine, guys. Like. Hmm. Won't let me do that, though. That's okay. So, just like that, we got all the trees that we wanted to get out. Out. And, uh, oh, you know what? I hope I'm not hurting the crop. Ooh, let's uh, hurry up and get off here. And boy, that cut my time down by a lot. So I'm definitely going to have to thank him. <laughs> for turning me on to this wonderful little machine. So we will park this right under the tree for now. Let's see here. Alright, so, unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot going on right now at the farm. Um, it is just late spring. Uh, our grass isn't ready to grow yet. Let's take a look at our wool. I could probably get this one out of here. And... I think I'm going to give the sheep a little bit of wool. And it did it again. My sheep are all different colors. <laughs> ah, that is weird. So as you can see, our uh, our hay situation is fantastic. We're not having any issues at all with our food. We have more than enough. So the question is this year is how much how much hay do I really want to make? Um, because man, we still got quite a bit. So what I might do is. I might cut the grass once and bale it up. Um, and then maybe the second cut, I'll turn it into silage. I'm not sure. Now, I could either turn it into silage bales. Germinated. It says germinated, but I... It feels like this should be growing by now. I mean, we are into late spring. What is this? Harvested. And by. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at the map quick. Go down and turn our grass on. So field one says harvested. Field forty seven is growing. Hmm. <clears throat> Fertilized. Uh, I don't know. I feel like by late spring, we should have had our first cut. Or we should be able to do a first cut in late spring. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. 
Well, anyway, guys, that's uh, pretty much all we have for this episode. Um, I'm sorry if it's a short one, but like I say, there's just not a lot going on in the farm right now. But we are back in the full swing of things. We're going to be back on the campaign of France. We're going to be doing this. Um, I did just, uh, well, I did do some things off camera, too, that I could have put in the video. But, uh, yeah, that's just, that's just the way it went. So we're going to get this brought back. He's going to bring our truck. And uh, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And we'll see you next time, guys.